Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and back to Strange Horticulture. So, um, yeah y'all, so last episode, ugh, it looked like things are about to go down. Um, I don't know if this would be the last episode or the next one, but I think we're close. I really think we're close. Um, but yeah, let's just get into it. <laughs> All right, so we got this clue. It says, to the east of the castle, across the river and through the mountain pass, it grows at the edge of the wood. All right, so let's see if we can kind of figure this one out here. Where's all my other stuff? I don't know. All right, to the east of the castle. So, okay, so here's a castle. Egremont Castle. I'm just making sure. Like, I remember this one was here, but uh-oh. Alumna, Al M M Muncaster. But it's not a castle. Oh, it is a castle. Uh-oh. Okay, so we might need to see which one makes more sense given the clues. Oh, there's three. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay. So let's try to do process of elimination. To the east of the castle. Across the river, through the mountain pass, it grows the edge of the wood. Okay. So this one here, y'all, there's no river. I mean, there's this, but I just, I doubt it. So I'm thinking it's not this one. Where's the second one? Here we go. All right, so this could be one. Because here's a castle, here's a river. Here's two rivers. But it's like, if you go east from here, you hit woods first, not a mountain. So it might not be this one. And that last one I said was... Oh, shoot. Wait a minute. Here's another one. Gleeston Castle. So here's... But this isn't really a river. The rivers are up here. And then there's no mountain. So it's not this one either, I don't think. Where is the last one? I s right here. Here we go. So this one, east. Here's a river. Here's a mountain. Okay. So it, it would be the last one. Oh, my gosh. Okay. The edge of the wood. So... Right here? Yes, the trees sway effortless, effortlessly in the cool breeze. The low hum of crickets chirping rides the wind. A sense of calm washes over me and I'm rewarded with a new find. What we got? Hmm, interesting. All right, so they threw that right here. We don't know what this is, so. And it kind of messed up my, what got moved? H, J. M. All right, so I think, I think this got moved. I think that's supposed to be like that. H, I, J, K, L. Yep, okay. I mean, technically, I should have moved that over. It's fine. Because honestly, it probably should have been a little closer. I should have been over here when I did that so that it popped up over here. Okay, but you know what? Let's just open this up. What is this? Oh yeah, the thing that we didn't find. All right, who's up? It's Verona. It is time, woo! And y'all, so, that but i don't know why i was trying to make this like more ominous and spooky than it has to be and this is servant like why did y'all let me sit here for what 10 episodes saying servant like it was some a mysterious thing it's servant it's on the move again time to act meet me at the ritual site i hope for all of our sakes that you've been able to track down all the plants we need <gasps> okay 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 hold on okay this is not my notebook. Where's my notebook? I found my notebook. I had the wrong notebook, y'all. All right, where are my notes? I need my notes. But I don't even know if we're sure. So this might be a guessing game. Yep. So for, so corpse friend reminder, I think we said is devils no what was it let's just go through this first to make sure i think sour it's either sour brandy or devil's nightcap what does sour brandy band bandy bandy nope i think it's devil's nightcap yeah corpse rim 
And I think we we think we know what Devil's Nightcap is, right? This one. Yep. Okay. So we think we know what Devil's Nightcap is. Then we found out that the one that was a binder was Swift Snare. We got that separately here. And I believe we think we know what that one is. Uh, mm, hello? Where is it? Do we not know what it is? Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Do we not... I thought we knew what that could have been. Uh-oh, y'all. Oh, why the heck is it over here? Oh my gosh. It needs to be after this. What in the world? I was gonna say, I thought we knew how that happened. I must have like looked at it and it went back in the wrong place. Okay. So we think we have Swift Snare. A uh, Fear Bringer, we think is Widow's Woe. And I think we, yep, yeah, we think it's this right here. Uh, Oh, here we go. Induce Fear, yep. Lift the curse long ver ver vericund long vericund yeah lift curses mm -hmm. and then secure black bloods reverse we think it's elder finium elder finium okay and we know what elder finium is okay yeah i i think that's it so let's just say okay i have a decision to make do I meet with Faith Swift or the Seeds of Redemption? Or do I follow Verona to perform the ritual? Shut up. There are multiple things. <gasps> oh no, I didn't know this. We must act before it is too late. Gather the plants and meet me at the ritual site. Oh no. Wait, what did that say? It said meet Verona. Do we follow who? Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. The seeds of redemption. So it's like, do we follow him? What do they want? Okay, he dedicated his life to the, the Woken Dendru. Pray the Dendru. Uh-uh. The Dendru is awoken. I think this is, like, evil. Yeah, I don't remember what the other one was. They said Seeds of Redemption, and then what? Oh, gosh. Can you tell me this again? Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't remember what it said. You know what, y'all? Let's just do it. Let's just do the ritual. Okay, I don't remember where uh, the one after. So, wait, the one after what? The one at the, so the great oak, did we say it was here? Ooh. A small stone shrine sits off to the one side of the clearing. Can y'all hear the music? Five grooves run out from the center of the stone, widening into recesses at the base. Five slots for five plants. Y'all, if we're wrong and I'm about to like destroy the earth. <laughs> Here we go, y'all. Here we go. All right, so Devil's Nightcap. All right, Devil's Nightcap. Swift Snare. Yeah, I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. Uh, Widow's Woe. Long Vericans. Long 
bear again. An elder finium. Y'all. <laughs> I'm nervous. All right, here we go. Okay, at pit, okay. All right, y'all. What if I'm wrong? What if I'm wrong for following her? <gasps> Four out of five correct plants. So close. Time is pressing. I must get this right. <gasps> Which one is right? Are you wrong? Okay, four out of five. What? I was so sure. Okay. I feel like I'm really sure about the Elder Finium. Yeah, I'm really sure about the Elder Finium. Hold on. Let's just pull this out real quick to make sure. First, if the corpse's friend, a reminder. Corpse's friend. So are we just wrong and this is not Devil's Nightcap? Okay, let's take a look at the plants that we, um... No, y'all, I am really sure about the Devil's Nightcap. I really am. The Swift Snare has to be the binder. Is there like a one, two... No. A uh, swift snare. Okay. You know what? What if it's this? This kind of looks like a heart. No, because it's, wait a minute. The binder, ankle grabber, and never, no, look at this. Look at the vines. They're moving. Look at the vines. Y'all, I don't think that's Swift Snare. I think this is it. I think that's Swift Snare. Something told me to look at that when I, when we first got it. I was like, mm, that kind of looks like it's viney. That might be what it is. I think that's it, y'all. I think that's it. Let's do it. Huh? Well done. I will take it from here. Oh my gosh, what is happening? What is happening? I stand back and watch as Verona walks around the shrine, muttering soft incantations. It feels like a long time passes before she looks up, but in reality, it was perhaps only 10 minutes. Nothing's happening. What do you mean nothing's happening? Have we got the right plants? I think so. Perhaps we just need to be patient. A loud noise behind us makes us all jump. Turning round, I see something that makes my blood run cold. The woman in the jade mask is walking calmly and slowly towards us from the other side of the clearing. Behind her, standing tall and terrifying, is the black silhouette of the servant. Ew! Oh, oh mercy, mercy! Oh! What was that about being patient? I think we're out of time. Do not be afraid. I am here to surrender willingly. The servant cannot be allowed to... Ah! The creature lunges forward and brings a huge arm scathing... Or sky, scything? Scything towards her. Her scream pierces the cold air and she drops to her knees, clutching her head. But the blow seems to glance off to one side as it comes hurtling down and the beast's claws ended up embedded in the dirt instead of the woman's back. I can't hold it back much longer. You need this. Ooh, Thea War. I just saw that. She has a name now. She throws a small vial of red liquid, which Reuben deftly catches and holds up to the light. Blood. Quickly, I know what to do. Verona grabs the vial and fumbles to get the stopper out of, as she turns back to the shrine. The servant has its huge arm free again and is slowly advancing with strange jerking movements. Oh gosh, I can see that. And 
my skin is crawling. I can, I've, I've seen enough movies to know what that looks like. Rona pours the blood into a small cavity in the shrine and everything seems to happen at once. A pillar of bright white light launches out of the shrine towards the serpent and hits it in the chest. The huge beast shrieks and staggers backwards, drowning out the screams of the woman in a jade mask who is clutching her head and writhing in agony on the ground. Oh shoot! There is an almighty thunderclap and the blinding flash of light and suddenly the servant is gone. A patch of charred ground smolders where it stood just moments before. My head is spinning at what yeah, at what has just happened. Did it work? Have we defeated the servant? The music sounds better. Banished. I got an achievement that says banished. With the dust settled and the servant vanquished, I have been able to reflect on the events of the last few weeks. We were fortunate that Thea was able to stay in control of the beast for as long as she did. Who can say what would have happened if she was unable to prevent it causing the destruction it craved? Undemir has never felt so jubilant, so full of life. All the nervous tension that has built up evaporated in an instant and the people have plowed their energies into celebration and merriment. They do not know the whole truth, of course, that Thea, the woman in a jade mask, was the one who summoned the servant. I promised Reuben that I would leave it up to him to unravel that mess. She is his daughter after all. I told you. I told you. I said, is that woman from the little, like, each when a day passed along? I knew it. I knew it. And as for myself, well, I'm back in the calm of strange horticulture, of course with Hellborg for company. It's quieter around here, but I am content and there are always more plants to learn about and discover. The Sleeping Dendru, it is done. The servant can go back to being a dark story for dusty shells, the end. Wow, y'all, I just got an achievement, hold on. Ending, it says for completing the game, 47.8% of players have this achievement. Alive, Reuben Ward, the investigator, attempting to reconnect with his daughter. Rona Green, alive, the occult scholar. She regularly visits you for advice. You have become firm friends. Aww. Deceased, Bethany Coleman, the sister, healed by the servant. Aww. Faye Swift, alive, the psychic. She has not dreamed of the servant since you performed the ritual. In hiding, Ennis Alfred, the cultist, has not been seen since the defeat of the servant. There are rumors he is living in Rydal Cave once again. Deceased, Forrest Vare, the hunter, killed by the servant. In hiding, Thea Ward, the woman in a jade mask. Ashamed of her actions that caused so much pain and death, it is unlikely she will ever fully recover from the trauma. Yeah, did I not say, I don't know what episode that was, but I was like, what if she is the one that we've been reading about? Isidore Burbage, alive, the barrister, currently pursuing legal action against strange horticulture. Why? So, ending two, Elder Finium. So, I'm wondering if there were three endings. Because remember, it was like, follow Verona. And then it said two other things. So, I wonder if, um, if we would have chose one of the other two, it would have been different endings. Man, I kind of want to play this again and and see what the other two endings are. Or I could just look it up on YouTube. I'm pretty sure somebody has already done. What are all three endings in, uh, well, I'm assuming three, in Strange Horticulture? Wow. Okay, continue. What happens now? We still have plans to identify Bad Viking credits. Oh, it's the credits. Okay. Do I go back to my shop? Earlier. Have you ever heard of the Monastery of the Black Veil? I think it would interest you. I learned of it from the man in Ra from Ravenglass. If you're ever in that part of the world, you should ask him about it. He owns the Horseshoe Inn on Main Street. We not done? 
Oh, Lord. Okay, hold on, y'all. We have some stuff to do. So now it's telling us we have only 58 out of 77, y'all. All right, so we're sure this was Devil's Nightcap. So I guess we can be sure about that. This is Widow's Woe. But anything we got right, I'm assuming that was not Swift Snare. This was Swift Snare. Okay, that was Swift Snare. What else? Okay, we already knew what Elder Fanny. I'll leave these here for now. I think I'll I'll uh, organize them later, but let's just leave that here for now and then get rid of these. Yeah, I'll put these back later. Y'all, I can't believe it. Okay, so we still have work to do. We still have work to do. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Um, okay, Black Veil. What is that? So we we finished the main story, y'all. I'm happy. But I also want to do the rest of all these plans. Oh, look, Rydal Cave. This is where that guy is hiding now, they said. Remember? What am I looking for? Black Veil. Raven Glass. Raven glass. But are we looking for a black veil though? Is that he's from there? But is there a black veil or should we go to Raven glass? I'm looking. I don't see a black veil. Don't judge me if you see it and you're like, it's right there. I guess let's just try Raven Glass. I don't know. Cool. I am met by a man with a thick black beard and kind eyes who is delighted to have found a willing ear to listen to his stories. You won't find the monastery of the Black Veil marked on any map. They don't want to be found. The monastery was on the edge of a wood. I remember that much. We must have been heading west because I could feel the sun on my face. It was an evening. We crossed two rivers. Then we followed a river for a while. I could hear it to my left as we traveled. They left me here in Ravenglass and I've stayed ever since. As I turn to leave, he adds, here, if you're serious about going, you better have this. Ooh, all right, Elixir of the Black Veil. Okay. I remember this tomb, I remember this. You won't find the monastery, oh. Okay, so this is the information. Okay, so let's keep this real quick. Um. Yeah, let's keep that, but let's let's see if we can figure out this. All right, so the leaf of a Storian. All right, the leaf of a Storian, dark flower of the tomb, and stench of the twilight. All right, let me let me see if I can read through the book, y'all. And uh, oh, let's put this away and uh, figure out these. All right, y'all, so I'm back and I think I have two out of the three. So the first one here is Storian. Um, it says Leaf of the Storian, so obviously that one's fine. The second one here, I think is Thumb. And the reason why I think it's Thumb or Tomb, sorry, it said Tomb. Um, Dark Flower of the Tomb, it says here, pronounced Tomb. This flower is sometimes associated with depth. So that's that one. And then Stench of the Twilight, I think, oops, it's this one. In the twilight, twilight le lepiota. In the twilight where shadows grow, take leaf and root and eye of crow, a plant of gloom and despair and dark magic. Do not be fooled by the pretty flower. The smell it gives off is quite foul. So I'm thinking we probably have to have it, right? Because there's nothing here. Like I don't have anything that I thought it, oh, I did. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, never mind. All right. <laughs> Forgive me. All right, so let's see. All right, we got it. New elixir. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so 
let's just call it Black Veil. Awesome. So we're saying that, oh, so let's, let, hold on real quick. Let's make sure, oops. Let's make sure the book agrees with us and the stuff that we think we found. So, okay, so it positively identified the Thorian, so we can say that one was correct. Uh, whom? Yep, it's saying that was correct. So let's go ahead and change that one. The Twilight. Yep. Just confirming. Uh, oh wait. Uh, Widow's Well. Yep, we said that's what that was. Swift Snare. Yep, that was that. And then I think Devil's Nightcap. We got to make sure it says we've gotten. Yep, it did. Okay, cool. So all of these, I'll, I'll, like I said, I'll put them up. But all of those were good on. Okay, so now let's do this. Uh, yes, back here. Okay. Um, so we're in Raven, Raven Glass. He says, it was on the edge of a wood. I remember that much. We must have been heading west, so it's this way. We crossed two rivers, one, two. Then we followed a river for a while. I could hear it to my left, which means he went south. Yeah, for a while. At the edge of a wood. So if he followed for a while, then I assume it's it's one of these two. So maybe first let's try this one. Nothing here. Okay, so it's not that one. That's fine. Oops. That's fine. Let's just do some water in. Do some water in. Y'all, I can't believe I actually finished the main story. Y'all understand, like when I say we are finishing games in 2022, I meant it because I'm so tired of having all these unfinished games. Whether I paid for it or not, it still, it, it still bothers me. <laughs> I mean, I paid for this one, but still. Come on. Thank you. All right. All right, so two rivers, followed the river. Oh, wait, you said cross two rivers. I just thought about that. If you cross two rivers, then we're going this way. And the river on the left means we're supposed to be going up, right? Hold on. That's... I wonder why this one didn't go away. Yeah, I wonder why that one's not going away. Here we go. Raven Glass crossed two rivers, followed it for a while. Oh, we're supposed to be going north, y'all. If you cross the river. Okay. Wait. Wait a minute. I don't make no wait. Hold up, hold up. I'm now confused because I was assuming that he ended up in Raven Glass. They left me here. But I when I was going this way, I was assuming like Oh, wait a minute. Heading west. So is it... Did they come back? Because if you go this way, there's no way to cross two rivers over here. I'm so confused now, y'all. Yeah. 
Okay. Here's what I'm thinking. If they left him in Ravenglass, maybe I'm not on the wrong track. Maybe I'm supposed to be backtracking like I like I was doing. Except I need to go the other way. So we're so maybe it's cross two rivers. And it was on the left. So if they follow the river on the left, if this was the second river crossed, maybe they're saying I should be following this river for a while. And then cross over two rivers. So maybe it's here. It doesn't mention mountains. So what if they came from this way, cross two rivers, and then the river would have been on the left if he was coming down this way, you know? I want to try it, y'all. I'm going to try this one. Hot dog. Ooh, that brain work, that brain work. I know, I was, I was like, wait a minute, I think I'm on the right track. Okay, three figures, their faces hidden behind black coverings, come out to meet me. The figure on the left speaks first. The monks of the Black Veil know of the horticulturist. Then the one in the center of the group adds, they will share their knowledge if they receive the payment. The final member of the trio stays silent. Okay, they want the elixir of the Black Veil, so we have that already. Yay! Oh, wow. The third member of the trio accepts the elixir and together they disappear into the monastery. Some time later, they return with a stack of parchment. All right, we got lots of good stuff here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That might be everything we missing, y'all. I'm gonna just let that go in. All right, let's do some, um, yes. Let's do some identification here. In a little book of what we think is what. Okay, umbrella's new. That looks like this. A powerful bomb against disease of the heart, disease of the heart. It will not be a cure once illness has set in but it can ease the pain and prolong life. The umbrella has long rounded leaves and the flower that smells of strawberries. Here we go, told you. It has a sweet, sweet scent like strawberry dipped honey. Okay, so we think this is umbrella, excuse me, or umbrella. Okay. What else did we get? We got Bellinox, which, might be this right here. The moonlight flower, dark, mysterious, and beautiful, has enchanted people for centuries. It is thought to send people mad with obsessive desire, seductively luring them to their death like a siren's call. I think it's this. Dark purple flowers. Moonlight flower, dark. I think so. So we think this is Bella Knox. A birdum. Uh, that looks um thick bardom leaves make a tasty addition to stew uh, soups and stews superstitious folk won't allow bardom into their homes as it is believed to bring bad luck uh none of these really look like it Huh, so maybe we don't have that one yet. Or I've mi oh, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Look at this. This is it. I didn't see that over there. Why are you over here hiding in, um, over here? You know what, y'all? Let me, okay. Let's do this and then I'm gonna go put stuff where it belongs. A uh, carnivorous tauren, this is new. Known in the North as Andrew's Bane after the unfortunate demise of a man called Angel Jardine. He was caught and slowly, oh wait, no. 
wait no yeah never mind we we have that we think that's uh that this this yeah car yep okay never mind I knew it sounded familiar demo what about that one okay yep you know what that is that looks like this this unremarkable flower is related to the common thistle its leaves are occasionally brewed into a tea that is used to calm anxiety yep see All right, so we think this is demo. What else did we get? It was midnight. Used by some as an aphrodisiac, though the potent sulfuric aroma is enough to put, put off most. The dark mushroom, oh wait, has a fleshy underbelly said to have unique sharp taste to those brave enough to try it. Wait a minute. Do we already identify that? No, wait, wandering boo. Why are you over here? What in the world? Oh my gosh, I gotta fix all of this. Yeah, I don't have any F's. Where's my feet? Oh, up here. Forest Campery. Yeah, I don't think we don't have a mushroom. Unless it's that. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Average. Pretty blue flower. Wait, we already have this, I think. Pretty blue flowers line of stems is sought after plant. It is said that if you have average to your beloved under the light of a full moon, you both live. Wait, we think we I think we already know what that is. This. No, 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 not that. This. Yep. Okay. How do I not? I should have wrote down what it said we got new because I'm over here doing the most. Penny Bell. This has to be new. The leaves of the Penny Bell are chewed by some for the hallucinogenic. I think we already said that this. Oh, maybe it's this one. Where's the other one? P. Yep. So this might be Penny Bell. Only why I don't think it's Penny Bell is because look at the leaves. This has one, two. I'm going to hold off on that one, y'all. I'm going to hold off on that one. It might be it, but I'm going to hold off. Poliscus. The Poliscus flower is crushed into a paste to cure coughs and sore throats. The author can attest that it's supposed cure does not work. Is it this? I don't know. I mean, that one's not obvious. Let's hold off on that one. That's it. Okay. Oh, Priddle. What's that? Uh, oh, coveted by the rich, pretty Priddle is crushed into crushed to make dyes. It's a very rare plant that it's hard to come by and requires great care to cultivate. Okay, I think it's this. Yeah, I think this is Priddle. Okay, so let me... Now that I've kind of gone through these, oh wait, we have a mushroom right there. Hold up, hold it on. What was that, y'all? What was that? Did I say it was, oh, Fool's Midnight. Yes, what about this? Smells rotten. Potent sulfuric aroma. Yeah, I think it's this. It might be this. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I forgot about that. I was looking for a um a mushroom mushroom, like the one with the round tops. All right, so let me real quick um put all of these actually I need this in order. Um real quick. Okay, I'm back. Um and everything is now in order and except for these two, which we're not 100 percent sure, but I think we know what those are. But we'll we'll have to just see. Okay. Uh you don't know why this hasn't been checked off, but whatever. Let's keep going. Simone Green. It is good to see you too, Hellbore. It has been a while. Oh, it's pet Hellbore. You seem as relaxed as ever, though. Nothing ever fades you, does it? I must admit, I've been buried in my books and seem to have missed all the excitement. 
I hear you and your plants had a part to play, though. I've been collating some information on a selection of plants for a little book I'm putting together. I was hoping you could help me finish identifying all these plants. All right, let's start with the moonlight flower, Bellinock. I've always loved that one. All right, so I'm glad I did that. That's gonna help. <laughs> All right, Bella Knox, we think is this. Woohoo! Bella Knox! Bring wax cap. Uh, we think is this. Yep. Oh, wait, I gotta go fix that, Bella. Hold on. Hold the phone. Bella Knox? Come on. There we go. Okay. The spring wax cap was gonna go somewhere over here. Yep, spring wax cap. All right, look at that. 63 out of 77. We we going places, y'all. Average. We think is oh wait, uh spring wax cap, spring wax cap, yep. Oop. A average, we think is this one. Booyah. Is this gonna like finish off all the ones we're missing? That would be nice. Fool's Midnight. All right, here it goes. We think it's that one. Yep. All right. Okay. That. Do the last one. I don't even know y'all. Uh demo. Uh this one. Yep. Okay. Umbrella. We think it's this. Woohoo! This is so satisfying. <laughs> Okay. Evilum. Ooh, okay. So this one we're not too sure. We're not a hundred percent sure. Uh why do we think it's this one? Because of the leaves. Okay. Pungent. Alright, well, we'll we'll find out. Woohoo! Right. A penny bell. Okay, this one, we weren't sure, but said it could be this one because it looks like bells. So let's see if I'm right. Yeah, okay. Well then. Let me go ahead and put this one up then. I just go with my gut, you know? Where does penny bell go? Spin it. Excuse me, I need you. Fin it. Uh, before fin it. So here. Okay. Birdum. All right. Booyah. Is that it? Oh no, she's still going. Holisk. Oh, were we sure about that one? I don't remember. Wait. Oh. You? Did I not? Oh. Hold up. Ah, I wasn't sure. But we said it could be this one. So let's just try it. Yes, it is. Okay. All right. Holiskus. All right, so that goes after Fennet. Excuse me. You can just go here. All right, uh, Aguria. Woohoo! All right. Knocking him out. 
Embersoul. We think it's this one. And we are correct. All right, Sour Brandy. This one? Yep. Y'all, three more. Three more and we're done. Talent. Uh, you? Yep. Two more. Carnivorous Torin. This one. Yes, yes, yes. Brittle. Uh, right here. Experience Horticulturist is our um thing that we just got an achievement. So, wait a minute. I've identified them all? When did I identify? Oh gosh, I identified Glowhorn already? I guess I did. Oops. According to this, we identified all of them. So really, I should have no purples. Dead man's finger should be a purple. I mean, it should be a, a yellow, sorry. Yeah, no purples. Y'all, we're done. Well, that seems to be all of them, you know? I think you've earned the right to call yourself an experienced horticulturist. Oh yeah, that's why I got the, um, the thing. End day. What now? We're done. It is done. Y'all, that's it. That is it. Oh, look, this is that plant. A uh, swift snare. This is swift snare. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, y'all, that is going to be it for this series of strange horticulture. I, I told y'all, I think in the beginning, I was like, it said 10 hours, but I was like, you're right. I think this took us a little over 10. So now, so they're about right. Um, even with having to take hints. We did like, what, two hints, I think? Well, that's not bad. I mean, thinking about how many hints we could have gotten, I don't think two out of all of that is um is too bad. But that was fun. That was really fun. Um, I hope they do another one. I don't know what it would be, but I do hope they do another one because I would definitely play it. But let me know what you guys think. Like, did you enjoy that? Like, let me know. Let me know. Um, okay, so Fridays. Right now, um, now that Strange Horticulture is done, uh, I will be not do uploading on Fridays for a couple of weeks because um, if, if you follow, what is it? My Twitter and then my community tab and my Kofi, my YouTube community tab, my Kofi. I think I mentioned this that beacon pines beacon pines is a game that i did a demo for um, i'll put the link, link below so that you all can check it out and they're actually coming out on september 22nd with the full game but thanks to key Mail and the devs i did get a early access key um so i'm going to start recording but the embargo lifts on september 21st so what i'm going to do is on the 21st which is a wednesday i believe i'll be posting episode one it comes out Thursday the 22nd. Then that Friday will be episode two. So you get two episodes in one week. But then going forward will be Fridays um, for Beacon Pines. It, it's a fun game. It's like a, a narrative, but it's kind of like a, almost like a choose your adventure type thing where you have to use these little tokens to influence how the story goes. And then like, as you gain more tokens, you can go back in the story to use a different token to impact how the story goes, um, like, like, like a different branch of the story. It's cool. Just go ahead and check it out if you haven't um, seen that demo. But yes, that's going to be the plan. So no no uploads on Fridays um, while I start pre-recording for that so I can have a nice little slew of episodes ready for y'all in a couple of weeks. But anyway, that's going to be it, y'all. I do hope you enjoyed this episode and this whole series. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. If I see more, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.